what is going on guys back at it again fly stew in the building guys today's video can the hair bird the very hairy bird can he be successful in season 19 is he overrated or is it still all about the double talk bird guys if you like videos like this and you want more make sure you like comment and subscribe we do videos like this all the time so just let me know what you want anyways the hair bird is such a smooth scary person of course if you don't know hair is the move where if you attack first you draw more and more so we're going to show you one of our scholars in the little pig flight crew uh the scholarship program that's the fastest growing scholarship program around i might say adding three new scholars this week but you know if you want to know more uh definitely follow the discord but guys we're going to check one of our newest scholars she just started this week ashley and see how she's doing in her games now this is a site called axie management it's great because you get to really see how your scholar is doing see their games maybe have some comments see what they're doing right maybe what they can improve on and that's what we're gonna do today guys so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get one game she lost and one game she won um, but she's doing a really good job in PvE choosing the right matches um, so let's check out some PvP um, so here's a loss in PvP so maybe we'll do this one to start so let's exit this and all right so here is the first game by the way guys we're chilling out here with the cookie layer we're of course aloe vera in the building we got julius out here in the building guys we are cooking on youtube first time ever streaming on youtube but let's keep going all right, so off the bat, what can we see here, guys? Mmm, this water is delicious. This is some great water. God damn, this water is good. Okay, so here is the hair monster in the background with some beast damage. Very interesting, um, you know, variation. 57 speed, so be faster with aquas that aren't sped up. Even though aquas are the same speed, it has less health, so it goes first. Then we got a massive damage. Um, plant and then we have a massive healing plant now the aqua defect is a different touch you know kind of acts like an eggshell deflecting damage but let's see what goes here so right off the bat we see massive damage available for her and it's always scary when you go against a beast as a double plant team because you need to get to this beast quickly but he's probably going to destroy a plant in your first round so i would say she's probably going to use now you have a healing plant, so you have to get rid of the healing plant fast. I would say you probably want to use all your attacking cards here. Um, she skipped her first turn, it looks like. It looks like they skipped their first turn. Uh, we can't go backwards, but let's see what they do in their second turn. So, goes for some damage here, and then the pumpkin. So we probably want... So I can see why she might not want to do Prickly Trap, because... This guy's 32 speed, he's 31 speed. He's gonna do last, it's not gonna be as powerful as you want. And one of the good things is when you use headshot, it disables the horn, which is the healing power. So this guy can't heal. Gets the draw card, I like. And then let's see what we have here. So he can't heal, which is great. But now you don't necessarily have the damage you want to get rid of this guy. And this guy can be very annoying without the damage, so. So goes for this Aqua Deflect. Probably wasn't the card she wanted to use here. Um, so yeah, I think definitely the first move was to go for these three as soon as you can use them. Use up all these cards because this guy is going to get demolished and all these cards are going to go to the graveyard here. Um, we got my YouTube channel. Hey, what's going on? Prince Kaioki in the building, guys. We got a packed house. So this guy sacrificed the gods. Um, I was about to say it's unlike the beast to go three cards without getting your thing here. And then this is where um, she got caught here. 
with this healing plant. Now this healing plant is going to be a huge problem. Um, and then he has another healer in the back. But now luckily she's able to get rid of get rid of his plant. But at the same time, now you're sacrificing. Unfortunately, you're sacrificing your plant to do it. Wow, all out shot and aqua vitality. That's an interesting combination. That's a really interesting combination. Maybe that might be the new meta. Who knows? Very timely. Very timely vegetables. So she's still in this actually. That actually gave her a chance. Gets a very favorable draw. This is where I'd use aqua defect here actually. Because that way, if this guy's trying to attack you, he would have actually attacked the bird here. So there was a bit of a chance, but this is about gonna wipe you out completely. Not much you can do against this combo here. The double nutcracker plus the Ronin, probably the strongest combo in the game. Yeah, nothing you can do. And look at this. <laughs> so there's definitely a couple moves you could do here. Um, definitely different chances there. And it's really about choosing when you wanna do your damage and when you don't want it, when you wanna play your cards. You're probably off a lot of times playing your plant cards really early when you're playing against a beast. You probably wanna play them as fast as possible. Um, but we're gonna find a game where she wins and see what she does right there. Okay, so look at all these PvP games, a lot of them actually. And going against a double Aqua team. So you're gonna see a lot of these teams between 1,200 and 1,500 MMR. So let's see what she does to really set this W in stone. Okay, so first round, we're playing basically no, no upstream, so that's nice. Upstream on the middle guy, interesting, with a bit of, you know, stoppage power in the middle. But against a double plant team, I mean, definitely have the advantage here. So the strategic pass first, because of course, Aqua's really struggle against getting rid of plants. And now all of a sudden, oh, look at how beautiful this is. The Aqua deflect. Probably didn't need the Aqua Deflect here, but uses it to get the vegetable and the water can. Look at all the energy he actually has. This is amazing here. Gets the energy steal. And this guy's still out here rocking strong. And now this is where the game gets really funny because you have the hair dagger advantage here. Boom, hair dagger. Boom, hair dagger. Boom. Oh, doesn't use any cards here to close it out. So probably could have had like, uh, actually, only it really has Aqua Deflect there. Okay. So she's actually in a pretty interesting place here because this Aqua Deflect card is probably not a card you want to um, use too early. So realistically, She's in a really interesting place here. Needs some good draws. Definitely to pull this one out. Can Kingfisher get it done? I don't think it does. Okay, so the bird's gonna take some damage here. And that's just a beautiful counting energy there to know that he doesn't have enough energy to take you out. Look at that 200 IQ play. Um, she's still a newbie um, So many mistakes, but it takes time. Oh, it definitely takes time. Oh, they're Runski. What is going on family? Um, Yande says she will improve. Um, she's definitely doing her thing though like really dominating this game This is a thousand two hundred MMR. So really doing a great job so far um, And now she's in just a completely perfect position to win Not much this guy can do here And look at this. This is a done deal Look at this bird combo. Oh God, it's game over. So a perfectly timed watering can is what really set this game apart. 
to get Ashley the win. And of course, when you have a bird with 45 morale, you're bound to get some um, critical strikes. So really, really good job um, using the double plants, using that water can, timing it perfectly, honestly. And that's what really got that W there. So with the, the with the double waters, the double aquas really dominating that like uh, 1,200 to 1,800 MR. It is possible to go with double plant to 1,700. So as you learn the game mechanics, it's definitely a good team to start out with. But guys, if you like videos like this and you want to see more, let me know. It's your boy Fly Stewie. What do you think about the Hair Bird? Do you think they can do damage within the new meta in season 19? Or do you think it's the double plants that are doing damage? Or do you think it's just going to be Dust Terminator, Cute Bunny, and Poison Ridden once again? I want to hear what you got to say in the comments. But we got to go, guys. It has been your boy, Fly Stewie. And I got to take off. Peace.